All right, this is the planer, probably one of the safer machines that we have in here. However, it can also be one of the most dangerous. Um, the planer is used to make the face of a board smooth, okay, the face. And um, there's just a couple of safety rules. Number one, boards less than 16 inches long may not be planed. Number two, the planer is used to make the face of the board smooth. Three, the depth of cut or the amount that we are going to take off on any given pass is just one sixteenth of an inch, just a really little bit, because you're taking off such a large area. Uh, number four, each time you turn the table wheel, it equals one sixteenth of an inch. Turning it clockwise will raise it, turning it counterclockwise will make it go down. The cutter head is across the machine right here. Um, Hearing protection must be worn when using the planer. Um, in a moment you will hear just how loud the planer is, and uh, it's quite a bit louder in real life. So hearing protection, I have earplugs, and there are earmuffs for you to wear if you are upgrading the planer. They are not optional, they are required. Uh, number six, the board must always be planed with the grain. As we talked about before, the grain are the lines on the wood, and you need to make sure that you plane with the grain. Um, number seven, boards may be plane down to a quarter of an inch. That would be the thickness. So down to about a quarter of an inch you can plane this board. After that it would start disintegrating inside the planer. Um, make sure you keep your fingers off of the uh, bottom of the board so they don't get pinched. This machine is the only machine in the shop that ha is uh, self-fed. What that means is it will grab a hold of your board and pull it through. If you're not paying attention, what will happen is your fingers will get pinched or caught between the board and the table, and it will be a very painful injury, okay? Maybe even worse than being cut, all right? So keep your hands off the board. Once it starts pulling it through, your partner should tell you to get your hands off. You can get your hands off, and it will get pulled through by the plane, okay? Um, number nine, feed boards in the front of the plane are catch them on the back side. It's a two-person machine. I feed from this side, and my partner will be catching from the other side. And finally, number 10, never place your hand inside the planer or around the orange area. The orange area is painted to let you know that that's the danger area, and for no reason at all would you ever reach inside there. Okay? Even if the power's off, there's still a chance that it could accidentally be turned on if your hand's inside there. Okay? If there's a chunk of wood or something that you want to pull out. Alright. At this point, um, if there aren't any questions, we're going to move on to turning on the exhaust. Because this takes off a very large amount of uh, material, uh, we need to get rid of it or it's going to end up on the floor. So we have the exhaust system up to the machine. A couple of things you need to be aware of. Number one, you need to open up the damper up here. And number two, you need to come over here and turn the switch to hand. There are two options, you can either go to hand or to auto. You want to go to hand and the exhaust will turn on. Now, how do you set up the planer to plane your board? The first thing you need to do is you need to measure and figure out what the exact thickness of the board is right now. This board is about one and one eighth inch thick. We will then turn the table wheel until the finger Right here is at one and one eighth of an inch. At that point, we can put our board in here and see if it'll fit through. It probably will not. We want to make sure that we do not take more than a sixteenth of an inch off. So what we're going to do is zero out the machine before we set the depth of cut. To do so, we're going to go counterclockwise. Each turn is one sixteenth of an inch until the board fits through the planer. Once it goes through, you can then raise the table wheel one sixteenth of an inch to set that depth of cut. At this point, the planer is ready to plane. What we're going to do is we're going to plane one space until it's totally smooth, flip it over, plane the other side one time, and then at that point we can decide how thick it is and how many more passes we need to do to make it the thickness that we want. But it is very important.
it that you plane one side until it's totally smooth, and then flip it over and do the other side. The board has both two faces, both faces need to get planed. Okay?